This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is the show where you could ask me, John Rettinger, any question you've got from the wide, wide world of technology. Well, this week, it's all tablets all the time. We're going to talk iPad mini, iPad fourth generation, Microsoft Surface, some rumored tablets, and everything in between. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. So our first question comes from user Achu Sidu who asks, John, did Apple release the fourth generation to counter the Surface and Nexus 10 tablets? Or are they trying to change the release cycle from March to April to September, October timeframe? So a lot of people were left scratching their heads wondering what Apple was thinking releasing a new tablet six months after the new iPad was released. Well, I guess now it's got to change its name to the old iPad. I don't think we're going to see two iPads a year from here on out. I think Apple is resetting the release cycle, which I think is going to be about a 12 to 13 month cycle. It makes more sense to release a flagship product right before the holiday season when it's fresh, when it's new, and people really want to go out there and buy them not only for themselves, but for family, friends, co-workers. You really got to like the co-worker uh, to buy them an iPad 4. Uh, but I think this is when we're going to see the new releases every year uh, around the October timeframe for the iPad. So March, no more. I think this is when we're going to start seeing them year after year. Certainly, Apple knew about the Surface from months ago. I'm sure they knew about the Nexus 10 as well. I don't think that this was a competitive move to combat those. The new iPad or the iPad third generation was selling like hotcakes anyway. The iPad still represents 90-ish percent of internet browsing market share. I think this was more of an effort to reset the release calendar. So hopefully that helps answer your question. So there's been a lot of talk about this guy, the Microsoft Surface. How good is it? Should I buy it? Is it worth the money and all kinds of questions? And that's what our next user, Max, wants to talk about. Hey, John, help me decide between the Windows Surface or iPad 4. Which one is better? So we've only had a few days to check out the Microsoft Surface, so I can't yet answer your question. But what I can say is that we will be doing a full head-to-head -head slam down, throw down, fist fight, tablet battle to the death between the Microsoft Surface with Windows RT and the fourth generation iPad. As soon as we get our hands on one, which hopefully will be sometime in the next week. So as far as which one you should get, that one really has yet to be seen. I will say though, first impressions of the Surface been pretty positive. The build quality is absolutely outstanding. Build quality is on par with anything that we've seen from Apple. It looks and feels different. My favorite feature so far has got to be the touch cover. This thing is really neat. It takes a while to get used to typing on it, but I really like having the option. It's thin, takes up really no extra room in the bag, and is really useful. So stay tuned in the coming weeks, technobuffalo.com. We'll give you a full answer to your question, Max. Steve asks, hey, John, I have an iPad 3. Should I upgrade to an iPad 4? And what case should I get for either one? So if you've got an iPad 3, Three and you're looking longingly and lovingly at the iPad 4 and its lightning connector and its A6X chip, look away. It is not worth the upgrade at all. Now certainly we haven't had a chance to review the iPad 4th generation yet, but just based on what we know, I'd say hold off, save your cash for the next generation iPad. Yes, you're going to get a little better graphics performance. Yeah, you're going to get a little better performance overall, but did you have bad performance with third generation iPad? Did games not perform up to your standards? Uh, chances are up until Monday before Apple announced the fourth generation iPad, you loved your third. Uh, and the fourth one really doesn't offer that much. So sure, there's a lightning connector in there. Up to 30 pin is a relic and cherish it. So as far as what cover you should pick, well, there are a ton of options out there. My iPad is being protected by a red smart cover, but you're gonna have to pick which one's best for you. Hopefully that helped answer your question. Wanna take a minute, pause for a second to thank our friends and sponsors at GoToMeeting. You know them, you love them, and you should be using them. Meetings are essential to the way we work. It's an opportunity for different voices to be heard, share ideas, problem solve, and develop creative solutions. If your team is spread out in different locations, coming together can be an impossible task. Unless you use GoToMeeting with HD Faces, the powerful, simple way to meet and collaborate with clients and coworkers online. Here at Techno Buffalo, we're spread out all over the country and the world, and we gotta have a way to see each other. Go to meet with HD faces is the best way to do that. So you ever had to have a conference call and you're sitting there on the line and you're browsing the web, you're checking Facebook? I know you do it. Uh, with GoToMeeting with HD Faces, you can see people face to face. You can make eye contact. You can see that they're listening to you. You can show them exactly what they need to see, just like you're sitting in the same room. It's a great way to make sure I keep Sean on task. No matter where everyone is located, GoToMeeting allows you to share the same screen, making it easier to all be on the same page. 
And with built-in HD video conferencing, you can see each other face-to-face. -face. It's so easy to launch or join a meeting from anywhere. So try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Don't wait for this special offer. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and enter promo code TECHNO. Again, sure to use promo code TECHNO. Go to meeting. Meeting is believing. User MGL1323 asks, Hi John, as a college student, should I go for the Surface RT, iPad, or wait until the Surface Pro comes out? So I need to know a few things about you first before I could best advise you. The first one thing I need to know is do you have another laptop or desktop in your apartment or dorm room? If the answer is yes, then the iPad or the Surface RT is gonna be a great way to go. Uh, they're gonna be awesome for browsing the web, checking videos, or even writing up short papers or notes. Not gonna be used for a primary computing machine. Uh, if you don't have another computer and you want a tablet that can do both, your best bet's going to be to wait until the Surface Pro comes out. Essentially, you're getting all the power of the latest Intel Core Series chip in a tablet form factor. You can plug in any type of keyboard accessory you want. You could use a touch cover or uh, whatever else you like, and you get the best of all worlds. You don't have to buy something in addition. So hopefully that helps answer your question. You gotta pick what's best for your situation. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. Thank you to our friends and sponsors at GoToMeeting. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.